Now, I, I, when you told me that we we're going to talk about this, I clearly said, look, we're going to do the parents. We're going to talk about this parent right, groups. Right, but we're not going to mention anything specific. And you're not going to get me kicked out of any of the parents groups, which is the most important part, because I don't want to get kicked out. Okay, but you have to make sure that you actually have an opinion. You can't be a <laughs> very vague, yeah, no, yeah, what I, she said. I have an opinion. There are groups on social media. There are a couple types of groups. One is parents for your particular class, where your kid is. And then there's also... Uh, groups of just parents of rising college preparing students yeah. and so I'm in a couple of those groups I think there are pros and cons to it the pros would be hey we're trying to find out some information do any of you other parents know how I can accomplish XYZ to me that's helpful but when you have parent groups where parents are in there and they're like hey this is my 20 year old child and my child is going through um, an issue with their roommate or their friend and um, you know they've got the whole background story and they're like well we think that she should do this or we think that she should do that and this is how we think she should handle it in my mind I'm like you went way too far (laughs) like I think that at some point you should realize you've given her or him all the tools that they need in order to make decisions and they should act accordingly based on their self-esteem and you know how you've raised them period there shouldn't be i told my child she needs to do this or i told my child he needs to do that or he needs to say that because my question is at what point does your child actually advocate for themselves and when do they actually grow up even though they're 20 years old or 21 years old that to me goes back to the whole coddling conversation we were having like you've just gone too far i think you're in their business too much. And it's really none of my business. What you and your kids do is none of your business. But I would never do it. I would never be in my kids' business that much where I can tell my son, well, this is what you need to say. No, you're a grown-ass man now. I need you to act like one. So the parenting groups are like any other tool. They can be used well or they can be abused. And unfortunately, they're like micro-communities and there's no rule book except for don't be abusive to others, right? Right. So anybody can come in and talk about anything they want. And how it's adopted is a reflection of the mentality of the people in the group. Mm -hmm. I enjoy being a part of some of the parents groups when I'm helpful. I'm a part of the parents group for a class at Howard. Mm -hmm. And I'm a part of the parents group for North Carolina A&T for our son's particular class. Mm -hmm. And there are times, because I've got experience at both of these institutions, where parents can get gaslit real quick because one parent said, look at this thing that's happening. And everybody goes into a tizzy and uproar. <laughs> and it's ridiculous. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and be very specific. If I were look at a trend, not universally, but parents of Howard students who did not go to Howard are the worst. They are <laughs> easily lit on fire. Uh, you might just say <laughs> one thing. And I can understand why. Because I don't, do you, you don't mean like the worst people. You mean like the worst offenders of the group? Yeah, the worst okay, offenders okay, of the group. Okay. There's just an energy from like, I went to Howard. Yeah. So there are issues that are cyclical recurring issues. You will not spend a four year span at Howard University and not be a part of some type of protest. Mm-hmm. It is the essence of Howard students to protest to say this is where we are and we want to right some wrong or go further. Mm -hmm. And we do that, we cut our teeth in the university itself experience, and then we do that in the world. You know, Million Man March comes up or something happening. Howard students get together, they pick up the banner and will walk down to Capitol Hill to do the thing. It's part of the training. Mm -hmm. And I've always said that Howard University's, the experience as an undergraduate at Howard University is that of an adversarial relationship oftentimes with the university itself. It is the crucible. It's the chrysalis for us to become the butterfly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In that sense, we're all forced together into this relationship with other alums that bonds us for life. And we are also enabled and empowered because we've had some resistance to push through. But when you haven't had that experience and your child is going through that experience and you're looking from the outside in and you're standing now in this digital arena next to other people who've also not had the experience, Mm -hmm. it is very easy for a calm morning to turn into an uproar (laughs) amongst that group of people. (laughs) 
I enjoy the parent group because I often feel that I contribute to putting out some fires and okay. give some perspective. But I, I am also aware of what you're talking about, which is oftentimes in parents groups, you get parents who are trying to solve their young adults problems for them yeah they'll bring the problem to the stage and other parents will pile on and, Chime and in. yeah yeah you tell that tell that such and such she better than <laughs> clean them dishes this is ridiculous like, it's a it's a it's an addictive place i think for people with that kind of personality so i would say you're right it's not universally one way or the other there are bad behaviors that are fostered in those groups and I was a part of both of the boys' parents groups all through high school, and mm -hmm. you weren't. Yeah. I'm not a part of anybody's parent group. It's too much. Like, it's not for me. Yeah. So what I'm saying is there was a training wheels for me uh -huh. in okay. these groups. Mm -hmm. And what, what in the high school version, none of that was there. In the high school version, number one, school is free. Right? It wasn't private school. Mm -hmm. So it's just really good public school. I think that the fact that when you're paying cash money for education... You, you want to be involved? You want to be not only involved, you want it to be everything is supposed to be everything you believe it to be if you, you can't if you make that if you, you don't know? get it you're gonna go into a rage yeah you can't make that that is for the child to do to pave their own way and make that experience as a parent of the child that is going to the school you know all i can do is hey you need help with the a building you need help with tuition hopefully i've raised you at a to a point where you can, like I said, advocate for yourself if you need to go to your professor or if you handle financial issues in the A building. I can maybe talk to my child to walk them through that for one time. But, you know, hopefully the idea is that you've gotten them to that point so that they can handle most things on their own. I hope that I'm not coming off judgmental. It's not that I'm judging people. I just feel like if you're this involved and it's not all parents but there are some parents that are like really involved in very specific situations and it's like if you're that involved i don't understand how you expect them to be adults because they'll constantly come to you to fix friend issues i think it's too much yeah it is a in my mind an extension of the idea that college is a family investment now, oftentimes parents want to get the most out of that investment not realizing that it's not just a financial investment it's an investment also in letting go letting that person go make mistakes and develop and self-advocate that's part of the investment yes. it's let, letting go yourself of you being in, you've been in control for 18 years yeah and it's time that you're not in control but you can go into advisory mode yeah the the funny thing is that like we are going through that right now so it's not like we're in the future talking about how we mastered this and this is how you should do it like we are in the process today of letting go i'll just leave it there because it's for another show and i want to invite everybody to join us at seven dot community if you want to be part of a community with people like jamie and i <laughs> who are talking about all this stuff as we go we'd love to get your feedback on this topic and we'd love to invite you to the community